And can you tell us something about um, what your father did, you know, to garden and he had two allotments as well and he used to work nights and when he was on nights he used to sleep part of the day and then he used to work and do all sorts of jobs he used to dig graves he'd pull trees he'd do anything help a farmer out with his work sometimes and uh, then he had a fair sized pig sty at the bottom of the garden where he kept two pigs and I can remember when we used to have a, a wheelbarrow and a sack in it and we used to go over to a farm where he knew the farmer had, had his pig with a litter and we used to choose two of these little pigs, bring them home, put them in the sty and they used to make a rare fuss that they were like pets. And um, all the vegetables he grew off the garden and he used to feed the pigs on all small potatoes and all various kinds and kinds of things. And then we kept a lot of chickens and mother used to put satins of eggs down and and, uh, and hatch them off herself and all sorts of things like that. And um, so of course we had plenty of food. We never went short of food. Not in what happened to the pigs when they were... And um, when the pigs were grown up, sufficiently in size for, for slaughtering and they weren't little pigs like you see today they were big pigs long and hefty things and uh, a postman with a pony and uh, a, a post van thing they used to come from Colchester to uh, and deliver letters all the way to Mark, from Mark, to Mark Stey and then he used to have a hut where he used to sleep in and if he wanted to rest or whatever it was and then he used to go back at night picking up the mails from different post offices and that and he in, in, the, in his spare time when he was there he used to keep, kill pigs, he was a marvellous kill, pig killer and um, when my father was ready, father used to put the copper on because you had coppers in those days to heat your water for washing and all that and they used to use this scalding water and he had a great big sort of a, a bench table thing where they used to lay the pig on and scrub it with the hot water and then they had a special thing and they used to scrape it with that, take all the hair off the body and leave the body all clean and then um, they used to hang it up and uh, one pig he used to keep for himself and the other pig we used to have a builder's barrow with a big flat top to it and we used to put the pig on the top and we used to walk to Lexton and there was the butcher shop there and name was Salters and he used to take the pig and uh, then uh, we used to cut the other pig up uh, all the uh, best part of it was put down into bacon and the small parts was put down into pickled salt brine in pots and all the other parts, the, um, the kidneys and heart, liver and all that which we call fry, mother used to sell it to my neighbours all round who knew we were having the pig killed and make pork cheeses and people used to have these pork cheeses and when they killed a pig we used to have the same with them because all, we all used to work together in the village and help one another and then my father used to put the the good parts, as I said, down, and we had big glazed pans where he used to lay the legs in and all that, and then he used to have salt brine put in them and baste them two or three times a day, he used to always keep going in there and basting them, and then he used to dry them off, and then put them in the pans again, and then he'd have black sugar, black sugar, black sugar, mm -hmm. yes, and, uh, and make it into a sort of a liquid, and then he used to baste them with this every day, turn them over and baste them, that sort of thing. And when they were ready, he'd dry them all off and he'd put them into bags like pillow slips and tie them up, hang them in a row in the uh, living room near the, near the chimney. So they kept there. And uh, they used to keep till we killed a pig again. And that was my, the, the bacon was beautiful to taste. I remember a doctor coming and he to see us about something and he looked up there and he saw him he said oh he said look he said i'll give you a quick for one of them he said 
my father said, no, you aren't. I don't never sell it. <laughs> no. Um, 